What's up guys, it's Zed and this is the final episode of the FIFA 22 Create a Club Career Mode with Zilla FC. It has been one hell of a run. The entire 10 seasons, or the, the, all the 9 seasons up to now, have been full of ups and downs. Us failing to win the Champions, Champions League, us winning the Premier League. It has been a... It has been one hell of a roller coaster. <laughs> anyway, so I mean, there's one more video left to do for this particular series, and this is going to be the first series I'm ever finishing as a YouTuber, so that's pretty cool, <laughs> I guess. So the home kit that I'm going to be using for this season is this rather <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it, but it's Puma, that's the first time I'm going to be using Puma and also the last time because this is going to be the last season and um, to be honest, I'm going to miss a lot of these guys Devo, exactly, Zaid, you know, the lot of them and yeah, for the away kit, we also have this Puma one and it's also the pink color it's it's kind of similar to what was there before last, last uh, season but this one is it's, it's like a diagonal design that's on the on the shirt well so i just wanted to show you guys the rest of the of the creative players that we started with at the beginning of this series there's De Verda. he's not a 73 rated left back he's 35 that means he went like he went up to 90 and he you know just dropped down because he's getting older and stuff like that then there's jürgen strandberg who left us to I don't even know what team is bought them from us, but these are the teams they are currently in right now. Suhu is in uh, Do in Dortmund now. Jadon Rivera is J Jadon Rivera is still in Inter Milan. He's the baddest guy on the planet. And then there is Torvaldsen who left us by mistake. Anyway, so there's supposed to be one more guy. The the main center back that time, but I just can't remember his name. I think it was Harris, but then I think he has uh, retired or something because like I searched and searched and he's not there. So I don't really see myself making any transfers this season in general because the team is actually fucking loaded already. I mean, the only the only weak link in this team is most likely the Otero guy that just refused to go from 87. Other than that, I think we're I think we're pretty good. All right, so there's a transfer offer for Gianluigi Donnarumma from PSG, and I'm going to accept this, or rather, I'm going to use the delegate thing to get the highest amount I can get from this deal. Uh, I'm going to start the offer at 140. I mean, I'm selling him because I have two other two two really crazy goalkeepers, and I. I, I really don't need Donnarumma that that much anymore, and and he's even still injured. So if PSG accepts that and he accepts to go back to PSG, then good for him. The match against Chelsea is up next, and this is the team that I'm going to be using. Oh, Otero apparently is still growing, and he's now on at 88. That is that is good news. So let's see what we're going to be able to do. And we win the Community Shield as well. Last season, we won the Community Shield, and that was the start of the best ever season that we ever we ever had in Zilla FC. And Zaid scored, Villain scored, who else scored? Uh, we have Rhys James and Haaland. PSG have accepted for 140 million. And, well, I guess he's, I guess there's something that's going to be breaking the deal down. To be honest, unless he just doesn't want to go back there. So I mean he's basically already a PSG player. So good for him. Alright, so I forgot that there is this Super Cup thing and I did I did a little bit of rotation. Villain is playing for Greenwood, then Verts is coming in for Foden, Latham for Pamicano, and Hartman is playing instead of Horn this time. So let's see what we're going to be able to do in this match. Hopefully it's going to be a win. Yeah, there really, there really wasn't any doubt, to be honest, against Sevilla. So, Haaland got the brace and Devo finished it off in the 84th minute. Alright, so I'm just going to be simming past the Premier League matches until we're out of the transfer window. Okay, we drew our first match in the Premier League. Anyways, I said I'm going to be simming through the matches 
until we get out of the travel early because I don't want to miss anything that might actually be important. So next up is the match against Manchester United. And I okay, yeah, we won we won this one. Devo missed the penalty. Greenwood got a fucking red card in the 27th minute. That that is rather interesting to be honest. Alright, so there's a transfer offer for Luka Jovic, and I'm going to accept this. I'm not going to do the uh, this thing. What's it called? The swap. I'm just going to do that. And the reason why I am doing that is so that I can do something really, really fucking crazy. <laughs> this is my favorite player in the world. And I have never bought him in any Kara mode I have ever played in FIFA. I've never used him in my Kara mode before. And this is going to be the first time. I'm definitely not going to be playing him, but I just want him to retire in our club. I mean, he's freaking... He's freaking uh, 38 for God's sake. So whatever happens, if he's coming to the club, if he's not coming to the club, I just feel like Zilla FC is going to be the club I will want Neymar to retire in in FIFA. So he might not even be retiring this year. So let him just be there at the end of, at the last episode of this series. All right, they agreed for the 5 million and his wage. I'm going to make, I mean, he really shouldn't be earning that little. Come on, he's fucking Neymar, no matter how old he is. But hundred, hundred thousand pounds should be okay. I mean, I could give him five hundred because I have that much money. But you know, there's no point in doing that. All right, so his offer has been accepted. So he is now officially in Zilla FC. I'm going to try to find a place for him in this in this team. I'm, I mean, chill. I just sold Jovic, so there should be like there should be space for him to do a couple things right now greenwood has a red card so neymar is going to be on there i'm just going to leave great um Jovic there until until he is sold and i mean it should, it should be like sometime soon i mean before the transfer window runs out and i'm also going to be focusing on the champions league this season as well so i'm going to be playing this looks like the most interesting of all of them in the group stage. So I'm going to be simming to that particular match and let's see how well this team is going to do. I mean, they're not doing pretty well in the Premier League for some reason. Let me just like stop this sim here. What, what the fuck? We just lost. We just lost in the Carabao Cup in the first fucking round to Crystal Palace. Ah, oh God. I, I really don't want that to happen. And apparently, Jovic is not even leaving the club anymore. All right, so I did the necessary changes. So I'm just going to come all the way to this match. This is going to be one of the few matches I'm going to be playing in this episode. I have no idea why we are doing so bad, though. Like, what exactly is wrong? Like, why are we drawing so much? Like, like that is a lot of draw. I, I hate seeing that gray thing. It's not so, like we're not supposed to be drawing. All right, so it's time for the match against Olympic Leon. This is all. This is going to be the only match that we're playing in the first half of this season. We're probably going to play like a couple, like maybe three or two in the next in the next half. And this is the team we're going for. A villain is going to be coming in for Greenwood, Haaland and Zaid as usual. Then Vertz, Foden and Bakari. Vertz is playing for Devo because Devo has a red card for some dirty ass reason. And then Otero, Arahal, Upamecano and Rhys James are going to be on the back line with horn in the goal so if you guys are enjoying this video so far make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already click the post notifications we're on the road to a thousand subscribers well nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator a warm welcome i'm derek ray and sitting alongside me ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis is stuart robson and we're ready for uefa champions league group stage action tonight it's the blades up against Olympic Lyonnais. And he's fired over the corner and turned onto the woodwork. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. Went in strongly, decisively. Well, looking at the table, it might be a celebratory occasion for the home fans because they know their heroes could clinch a place in the knockout stages. Derek, they must finish here. And a goal! 
right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here it is again. It's a wonderfully weighted ball over the top, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good. Goal. Patient build-up at the moment. It's looking promising. Dangerous ball. It's gone in. Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Oh, a perfectly timed pass. He's managed to get in behind and rattling the post. Well, I still can't believe. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Foden. There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Making progress. And will it be the leveller? And a goal! My goodness, they've changed the course of this game. Level now. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? And dispossessed. There's a slide drill pass. A chance now with the corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, there it is! Incredible! How about this for guts and courage? Can they see this out now? Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. To profit from the wide position. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? Man. This could finish it, and it's come off the keeper. And there is the goal! He's found the net, joy unconfined. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see, but you'd expect him to score from that range, but they all count. A change now. And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here. And they're All in right, a So that was definitely a, a very, very good match. I mean, the, we, we started slow at, at the beginning because I haven't played this game in a while. And it just, it just took some getting used to. And the highlight of this match is that the guy that we just decided to sign on a whim, Neymar, was able to get his first goal for the club. I mean, it might not have been his first goal, but the the first time that I'm scoring with Neymar in a career in a career mode, and that is that is something that is just you know important to me and just me. All right, so that was a good match, and I think the Ballon d'Or is going to be announced somewhere around here is that there or no i don't want us to be fucking losing matches come on i i really don't need us to be losing matches like crazy oh ah, god right like the matches that i don't want to lose are the ones that i'm losing like those matches against the big teams are actually really important matches and we draw that one against fucking galatasaray i mean we're already through to the to the round of 16 but i mean it 
it would just have been good for us to win it. All right, while we're looking, waiting for the Ballon d'Or to be announced, I'm just going to be saving this one, and we are drawing, we are drawing the freaking match again. They vote on our heart, the ones that get to go. And come on, come on, we do not need, we really do not need this. We really absolutely do not need this. I mean, we're first on the table by five points, and we need to do winning matches. I just saw there that three three out of all our players were were on uh, the UEFA Team of the Year Defender Shortlist. I have no idea where Ballon d'Or is. They probably have already announced it, and I missed it. But if that's the case, I I really think that Zaid is the one that's going to win it again this year. All right, we defeat Arsenal 2-1 at home. Another win to ever another win at Everton. Then for the FA Cup, we lose our first match. So there is no domestic cup for this season. So we can only dream of the Champions League and the Premier League. Well, I guess the golden season was the 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 season before the last one. So okay, we're we're supposed to be facing AC Milan in the round of 16 so let's just sim to this match if we do not do well in this away fixture then i'm going to have to <laughs> five freaking one i mean i saw that loss against wolves that that annoyed me but we we just beat 80 milan 5-1 so they they why are we drawing against brentford oh yeah i forgot that they're actually a good team at this far 2031 they're actually a pretty good team anyways uh, we're just going to be forgetting about that match. Let's see when will the next match be. I'm afraid to sim too far, but if the match shows up before that, then I will have to break the sim. And yeah, it did. So let's see what we do against them in the first leg. I mean, mm, I'm just going to sim this one normally so that uh, just to avoid stories that touch. Alright, so I'm throwing my best team out there. Haaland is a bit low on stamina, so is Foden. But nonetheless, we should be able to come out with the win in this match. And we do. 2-1, so that is 5-2 on aggregate. Foden and Devo are the ones that get the goals for us in this match. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to simply this Burnley match because the... Okay. Okay, so we do defeat them. Let's see what we do against uh, Dortmund here. We're going to have to... Oh, yeah, we're playing the uh no 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 let's sim to this match and then wait what did we do in the first leg 2-1 we beat them 2-1 in the first leg okay so i'm going to sim this one i'm going to play this match against liverpool or i really don't think there's any i really don't think there's a need to play that because i mean it's an away match and lifting the trophy in anfield is going to be pretty pretty annoying so I'm not I'm not going to do that. I mean, it, it, it will have been fun to see since it's the last. You know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to play that match, the one with the one against Liverpool, and then I'm going to play the Champions League finals. It's probably going to be May thirty first. We are going to be simming this match and let us see if we are going to be able to get the win against Dortmund. And it was a heavy win. Kamavinga, Haaland, uh. Wait, what? Kamavinga, Haaland. Wait, what? Okay, okay, Haaland got a hat trick in this match. So I was getting kind of confused there because I was seeing too many Haaland. So yeah, that's pretty that's pretty good for him. So six to one aggregate. So all that is left for us to do in this season is to lift the Premier League trophy and to lift the Champions League trophy once we beat whoever we're supposed to be defeating after after this. So we are actually winning by a landslide that is 11 points and chelsea are the ones that are right on our tail so anyways i'm going to be simming straight to this what what are the odds we're going to be facing rivera in the champions league finals that is going to be fucking crazy nah that is going to be fucking crazy all right next up is the last match in the premier league and it's against liverpool where we haven't won we haven't used our away jersey yet this season. Well, maybe that's because we're playing just three matches. So we most probably are going to use that against Inter Milan. And uh, yeah, this is the team I'm going for. Greenwood, Haaland, Zaid up front. Devo, 
with and Bakari in the middle. Then Otero. Otero is already an, at an 89. That's pretty cool. Then Araha, Opamecano, and Rhys James at the back. Then we have Horn in the goal. So I'll talk to you guys after this match. Make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And then I'll talk to you guys after this match is over. We simply have to focus on this man in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today on EA TV? Well, you could almost put this scene on a postcard. Sun shining brightly at Anfield, absolutely perfect. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And with the Premier League season about to reach its conclusion, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Liverpool against the Blades. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. We've seen everything. Drama at both ends of the table, some spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment. The players, of course, will be looking forward to a break now, but hopefully not before they give us a good game today. And so the battle commences. Certainly options available as far as the Blades are concerned. Holland pulls it back. Giving it a try. And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net. They need to get tighter here. Looking for the angle. Superb block. And still an opportunity. Neymar. If reports are to be believed, this could be his final season. Could it be, Stuart? He's about to hang up his boots. Well, Derek, it happens to everybody at some point. The body just can't cope anymore. And that's probably the... Wonderful chance! And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection. And he has so much pace in Diogo it. Jota. Not a very good challenge, and he skips past his man. Dangerous ball. There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And the finish is clinical. It just makes Defending. it look so... Devoe. Now, this could really lift spirits. And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really good... And over comes the corner. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. Promising-looking ball. Hang on, Derek, what a chance this is. Well, there it is. Can you believe this? From two down, they now find themselves level. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really... Holland. Oh, there it is! Incredible! How about this for guts and courage? Can they see this out now? Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace. Lots well, they've given him too much space. Sends it back. In search of space. Well, the post getting in the way there. Oh, he's done it. But hang on. Offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell. He thought he... Well, they fancy a short one. Saeed. Long way out this. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. 
Well, just look at this strike again. He hits it so well. That's a great bit of skill. No wonder he's pleased with himself. The corner. And now the delivery. What a vital intervention. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Well, beaten easily here. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance. Running room now on the wing. And there's the final whistle. Okay, I can't swear that this thing is an ultimate because the way I just ran through that through that defense with Devo just now was very fucking shocking. Like I was like, I mean, I meant to do it, and I knew exactly how I wanted to do it, and it worked. And it just looked so easy after I did it, and I was like, wait, what? Like, is this actually ultimate difficulty? I mean, it is, but what the fuck? Anyways, we beat them 5-2. They, they scored us two first. I think that's the trend now. They have to score us, and then we have to now score back and then win the match. But anyways, we're going to be lifting the trophy at Anfield. This is what I really do not want, but it's what's going to be happening either way. I'm, I'm not sure if if I play that match against Leicester, I don't know if we would have lifted the trophy in, in uh, what's it called, in, in our home stadium in that match because it wasn't the last one. But... Nonetheless, we're listening to the trophy right Cup now. Winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. Eight straight wins of the Premier League. Ever since our second season in the Premier League, we have won. We have won it. And every single after that, we have won it. We are literally the kings of England. Zilla FC are the kings of England. And Devo is the last captain of Zilla FC and the last person that's going to lift this trophy. So next up is the Champions League. And what are we going to be able to do in that match? I really, really hope that we can get over the fact that Rivera is in that team and actually try to do our best in order to win the match because Rivera is going to be a definite threat to be honest so before before we go into the champions league match i mean i'm not going to be coming back to this menu after the match that's where i'm going to be ending this series as i'm going to be ending the episode so i just want to look at all of the goal stats and of course unless unless Halal gets a hat trick in this match then devo is going to be the player of the season for the second time i i mean this guy just came alive in the later in the later episodes in the later seasons of this career mode and i mean zaid zaid has dropped he's now scoring he's now averaging at 25 22 well i mean it's, it's not bad but i mean he 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 has had his time i mean i'm pretty i'm pretty sure he won the ballon d'Or this year because of what happened last year but devo is now coming to steal his shine i mean he is he is going to be unreplaceable He's that unreplaceable right winger. I mean, imagine him and Conrad Zahn in the same team, though. That's just going to be absolutely sick. But anyways, this is what the stats look like. Alvarez is actually, actually, actually did a pretty good job this season with 16 goals. Foden got 10. Rhys James got 7. Ritz got 7 as well. Villain got 5 again. Anyway, so <laughs> it's time for this match. This is not the team that I'm going to be using. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, Otero is almost at a 90. I mean, we've already had our 90, our all 90 rated squad, and so our overs are already, we really don't need that to, to be able to win. So let's just put out the best squad that we can. We can. So, yeah, I think, I think this should be okay. Let's just put James there. And, and, and this should be good, really. This, this should be good. Anyway, so if you guys have enjoyed this video, if you guys have enjoyed this entire series, make sure to smash the like button 
and also subscribe to this channel if you have been watching the series and you are not subscribed just you know click that bell and subscribe and uh, <laughs> you know, i'm actually really happy that we have we have reached this moment and this particular camera mode as my first ever full camera mode is going to be in my heart forever so you know thank you guys for watching and let's just make sure we end this episode on a high by defeating in some i mean we can see rivera there posing a very 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 huge threat but nonetheless we are going to come out victorious in this match the champions league final only two teams left in the battle for europe's premier club competition my name is derek ray and i'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by stuart robson it's inter against the blades well what a night derek two great teams a perfect pitch a magnificent stadium and millions watching around the world what more could you ask for apart from maybe different commentators The Inter starting lineup. Well, as you can see, they're playing with a front two, three central midfield players, and a couple of wing backs. It's a great system when played well, but it does leave them vulnerable to switches of play. And a look at the starting 11 for Blades. <laughs> And now the Champions League final commences. Just cutting off the supply. Opportunity in the wide area. Foden. Oh, it might be. Superb stop. It's always straightforward, is it, Stuart? Well, it can work either way. Some players are inspired and play really well. Some feel overawed. I hope for his... Takes aim! And diving to thwart him. And Paul Pogba, the rumours have been confirmed. He has elected to end his illustrious career at the end of this campaign. And, and still danger here. Well, chance to play it in. Still could put it away. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. He continues his run. Oh, what an opportunity. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Holland. Could be. The crossbar got in the way. And nicely parried away. So no great surprise, really. Hopefully, we're no... Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. And now the delivery...
Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. He's driven in the corner. A decisive clearance it was. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Hughes to come on in one go. Who's going to get on the end of it? And they deal with the threat this time. Poor pass. And can they create something? And just has to remain calm. Surely. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great... Barella. Now with Rivera. Garner. Barella has it. And there it is! Full time! They are the Champions League winners! This was just a very, very poetic, poetic end to the season. Devo, Araha and Zaid are the ones that scored. And we were completely able to shut out Rivera. Completely able to shut out Rivera. I'm going to be, I'm going to be uploading the full match on my channel like maybe two days after this video drops. I think this is going to drop uh, tomorrow. <laughs> rather today because you know it's going to be now you guys are seeing the video anyways uh this has been a very very good run i've said that i've said that multiple times and here we are we're about to lift the champions league trophy for the fourth time and i mean it could have been more it could have been more but then the team just wasn't good enough those times that we couldn't win it to be honest because right now we just brush through the champions league and everything was really easy for us and now I'm going to just keep quiet as Devo lifts the trophy for one last time. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. Anyway, so that is all for this video. That is all for this series. If you guys have enjoyed it so far, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more videos. And thank you guys for watching this entire series from the beginning to the end. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video i'm thinking of doing like a real madrid career mode so i might do that but i would not be posting any videos for a while until i resume school because i'm actually actually want to schedule as many as i can because i'm going back to school on the 17th of december sorry on the 17th of january and i have no idea when i'm coming back because you know it's going to be time for exams and yeah so whenever you guys see me you're going to see me but i'm going to, i'm going to try my best to to schedule videos and thank you thank you thank you for staying with this series till the end <laughs> to be honest I'm, I'm actually i'm actually kind of speechless anyway so once again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next series in my next video peace well the keeper has outdone himself wonderful save